When it comes to outdoor winter fun, Barkhausen Waterfowl Preserve is a scenic place. You definitely got to check it out. It's gorgeous. It is. We've got Matt Creasy joining us live from Swamico with more on the winter activities you can enjoy there this morning. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Doug and Angela. Are you going to show How us? How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Oh, yeah. Are you staying warm out there? I am. Actually, it's beautiful outside. Cool. Of course, I enjoy being outside rather than behind the desk anyway. <laughs> you got uh, some snowshoes on? Yeah, we're going to talk about some of the tips and techniques of snowshoeing. And of course, we rent our snowshoes out here, so anybody can come out and try it. But first of all, before we talk about the snowshoes, some gear that you might want to wear if you're going to go out snowshoeing. I would recommend a good pair of winter boots uh, or a, a hiking boot that's waterproof. And I just happen to have my leather hiking boots on. Uh, anything you have is going to work. Just don't wear sandals or flip-flops. Those don't work that good. Uh, gaiters, a pair of leg gaiters. Nobody likes snow inside your boots. Um, the gaiters keep the snow out, keep your pants or, or clothes dry um, from the uh, knee down. And then also a pair of gloves if you have waterproof pants, a good pair of coat whatever, or good coat. Whatever you might have, whatever you have in your closet, uh, put it on to stay warm. Although snowshoeing, you do exert a lot of uh, energy and actually you burn 60% more calories than if you're walking or running at the same speed with snowshoes on. And the good thing about snowshoeing is the learning curve is rather short. If you can walk with minimal effort, you can snowshoe. The easiest way to try it out is to put a pair on and uh, get out there in the snow and give it a whirl. And we have a good six, maybe eight inches in spots of snow out here at the preserve. Um, so snowshoes do help out, even though they might not necessarily be needed. Um, with this minimal snow, I have a smaller pair of snowshoes on right now. These are about 10 by 32. If we had deep snow, I'd have a bigger pair on. With snowshoes, walk just like you normally would down the sidewalk, one foot in front of the other. Uh, but you do need to pick up your feet a little bit higher than you would, particularly in deep snow. You don't want the tip of your snowshoe to drag through the snow. So I'll pick my knee up a little bit higher, and the snowshoes fit together. I don't have to spread my gait out as I'm walking through the snow here. The tail automatically drags through the snow with these pointed tails. It's tracking, it's dragging, and it's keeping my snowshoe in a straight line. I don't want to twist my feet or turn my legs any more than I have to. Sometimes that tends us to, to throw our binding um, out of our boot and we'll lose our snowshoe. Uh, so those are some very simple techniques. Uh, don't drag your feet, make sure to pick them up. One foot in front of the other. And uh, if you're going to turn with snowshoes on, something that uh, we all wonder about, when you turn, the easiest thing to do is to make a T with your snowshoes. So I pick one up, I'll turn it like this, and then I'll pick the other one up like that, and I can continue on, and you can continue walking. You know, you never know what you're going to see out snowshoeing. Oh, geez, snowshoe hair. Sometimes there's critters out in the woods that you, you might not know. That so, is wow, fake. He's pretty Matt, that is Matt fake. Crazy. Angela, no, it's not. I'm not kidding. You, <laughs> no, that is a, that I is knew a, it. A social hair from the interpreter. <sighs> a very neat animal that we have in Wisconsin that adapts to the winter time by changing its fur color to the white to match in with the snow. Although it wasn't very good last winter without the snow. So, uh, come on out to the preserve. We have two different snowshoe trails. One is just over a mile. One is just under three miles. Uh, bring your own snowshoes. There's no charge for that. Or you can rent a pair of our snowshoes at two dollars for the the kids or four dollars for adults. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're looking for any of our, our events that we have, uh, you can visit us at Brown County Park Department um, on the internet. Otherwise, our Facebook page is a great place to see the different events and things that we have happening this winter at the preserve. Awesome. I love it. That was fun. That was. And you got me for about two seconds on me that. Me too. On that, uh, <laughs> Jokester. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Thanks again. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. You too.